Hello. Hi. I'm Erin. I'm Erica. And welcome back to our channel. Um, Today we are going to be talking about best and worst moments and memories as twins. And it is Twin Talk Tuesday. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, so you want to start? Best moment as a twin, just in general, specific. My, some of my, okay, my best moment as a twin is probably having a lifelong best friend. That's just a general kind of concept. I think uh. that I wouldn't have been able, like I would have been, but like college for me with Aaron, having a roommate was just amazing and necessary for me. I felt like it was such, it was a way easier transition into like moving away, being in a different state for my parents because I had her. Same with going abroad. Yes, I totally agree with that. I think like the first of anything, like first days of school, for like going to college, all of the all of stuff that involves change and like new experiences, because we're twins, we usually like did all of that together. Like all of our like different um, monumental like life what are those called? Challenges? No, new life. Milestones. Milestones. All of our new milestones in life we always like did together. Like when we started college, we started together. When we started grad school, we started together. So just having a twin for all of those experiences, like you guys know, like those are always like the hardest ones. Like I just made a caption recently about like change and how it's cha or a blog post too about mm -hmm. how change is necessary. So having a twin, like death is having someone there. So like it just takes away a little bit of like the awkwardness and like kind anxiety. Of, yeah, because you just have someone. Um, especially starting college, like that was huge. Just even be able to like our first night of walking to a party, like we got to be together. So you stole mine. Sorry, I'm kidding. Um, worst, do you know? I think that some of the worst just cons like things, some of the worst experiences as a twin is just kind of having the inevitable comparison um, and the anxiety of like if she does well on this exam or if she passes this test or etc. It's very yeah. hard not to think about that and it's hard not to think about how people are going to perceive that because people are like, oh you're smarter than her she's she's smarter than you and people have actually asked that so who's smarter and we usually say oh we're the same like it just yeah we are i mean we honestly are we like study art we have the same study habits and stuff and i think nature versus nurture like if you think about it our nature and nurture are pretty much the same exact thing so it's like it's not mm -hmm. like one of us like was a partier and one of us study we were both like high key like in the library all the time studying so like um, Ask anyone I went to college with, they'll tell you. Me and Aaron spent the majority of our time in the library. Yes, that's super true. Um, worst, so going off of that, a specific experience. So in Connecticut, you have a the CAPT. We used to, it's gone now. Oh, you, we used to have the CAPT, which was like the Connecticut aptitude something test. Practiced or not practiced, I don't know, test. Um, it's like the, just like a state test to like test where you are, standardized test. I hate standardized test. Standardized tests don't determine much because most people don't have standardized minds. So like, how is that? Just whatever. Anyways, um, if you got capped scholar, which means you got all fours and fives on your, um, which is the highest you can get, the highest you could get, you got exempt from your midterms or finals. Um, and I was like, great. One of us is getting capped, one of us isn't. And then the whole week, like one of us is gonna have off. It's gonna be like a party week and one of us is gonna have to go to school. It was senior year. Can you explain why you had it off? I missed if you said that or not. If you got all fours and fives. You didn't have to take midterms or finals, yes. You didn't have to take midterms or finals. Only senior year though. Um, and you took the test sophomore year. Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't senior year, it was sophomore year. So yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but uh, Erica got Cal Scholar and I didn't because in math, which I'm really good at math, I was like a point, I forget, I remember going to my teacher and they were able to like look at the scores and she was like, oh my God, you got like, when we were like a question and a half away, like you, you must have like not answered a question or answered something, like you were so close to getting it and it was absolutely horrible, like. Okay, if you answered more, but you got it wrong, you got more points off, so I probably just skipped the question and she probably attempted to answer it type of situation he didn't get cap scholar so like the week of midterm and finals were absolute hell um because i had to go into school and there was also in our high school like a giant board that said like cap scholars and like kind everyone... of triggering kind of anxiety provoking oh huge so um anyone who would walk by would, like you and it would be alphabetical order so you would automatically know that i didn't get it because you would just see eric ross and like everyone just used being eric ross aaron ross and one of my teachers actually um 
said to me like as a joke it's like oh my god and like now we know who this murder twin is like erica just got capped out and you didn't know what happened and i was like huh and i just started to cry my teacher was like oh my god that was just a joke and i was like no it's not funny i'm a huge nerd and that's that was triggering so that was one of the worst moments ever as a twin ever 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 yeah from i'm thinking not this is just more so along the lines of like Anne and I like social media, and I know social media, we had a Twin Talk Tuesday kind of on comparing yourself to like um, pictures that are photoshopped or uh, celebrities or like influencers. But for me, like my Instagram was um, hacked and deleted my, my freshman year of college, like going into my sophomore year, like that summer. And so my, not that it is a huge deal, but like obviously Aaron has like double the amount of followers that I do. If anyone didn't know that, it's true. So a lot of times, I remember one specific time, someone in Italy, one of my roommate's friends, was like, oh my God, like, why do, you, why do your sister have so many more followers than you? Like, oh, she's more popular. And like, I would, I honestly, people had always asked me that. And for some reason, I was just like, oh, it's kind of like, I was like, no, I was like, my Instagram was hacked. They're like, yeah, sure. But just like that aspect of it, where I was just like, huh, people look at me like that. Like, people are like, oh, your sister must Social be media doesn't determine anything, people, followers or not anything they don't mean anything really they really don't but i mean honestly like coming from someone who's been like getting the pictures deleted and like whatever like i can't i know that what it's like it's, like i would cry if my instagram got deleted because like i know followers don't mean anything but still at the same time i also feel like i have a connection with my instagram peeps so but it's hard my point being it's hard to balance like you have to under process that like followers really don't mean anything and like likes don't determine value and follower count doesn't determine your value and like doesn't mean you're popular or not popular but i understand how it's like sometimes hard to, especially being a twin like it's hard to like be like oh i only got 25 likes it must mean i'm a loser it's just really hard and then this in the social media crazed era it's very hard so yeah um let's see another best or worst moment as a twin i think having like like Thinking about COVID, I had Aaron every single day. Oh, that's so true. So, like, we got to, like, just be together. Oh, I think we've gotten closer than we ever have been. Like, when we're not together, I'll text and be like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. If we're an hour apart for an, probably less than an hour, we'll text. We're always texting. Um, we have, like, our own language, which people don't realize, but we do. Um, and we talk in our own language, like, all the time. People don't even realize it. Um, so, that's cool. You Like, yeah, you just have a lifelong friend. And you, you know you always have someone who, like, won't talk shit about you. Like, even if someone, like, thinks. Like, I always say, like, I don't understand people, the people who are literally, like, to Erica. Like, oh, my God, Erin's such a bitch. And I think she's not going to tell me. I'm not going to tell Erin. Like, mm -mm, wrong. God, if you've ever done that, you're probably really, watching the same. Every, everyone always asks, like, how are you guys so positive? And, like, honestly, being a twin is a huge, huge part of that. Because you just have, you, you never feel alone. Like, sometimes it's really easy to get negative because like one of the worst feelings in the world is like loneliness and like as adolescents and like young adults and uh, pre-adolescents like whatever it's really easy to feel alone especially like in this world because there's so much like cyberbullying so people can like say really mean things and you can really just feel like you have no one I feel like as a twin even if like the whole world is against you you still have your twin sister so that is really like a best moment um like a best aspect of it. I'm trying to think of specific best moments. A lot of them for me were in college. Like I would I would meet like double the people because she got like we had different orientation groups. So that was really nice and same with our classes. Um, good thing about being a twin too is your fun fact is, your fun fact always is I'm an identical twin. Oh yeah, you always have a fun fact, a little icebreaker. Also, what was I just thinking of? Um, best and worst, like my last quote for one of our videos, I think it was might have been our last video. Having a twin is having someone to double your joys and divide your sorrows that's true except sometimes like that's true in the sense that like you have a twin when you're really sad like i just went through really recently like sad like period of just sadness like because it's just normal life's all about ups and downs whatever but i had erica there and so she made me feel better because she took away half the pain and she was there but like from her side like you can explain like you can attest to it like it wasn't a period Erin was having a couple of rough days and she would wake up and just be like sad and i'd be like oh I, got, I wish I could help you. Like, I don't know exactly what to say, what to do. We would go on walks and stuff, so I helped her. But what she's saying is, like, she felt bad because, like, usually she's, like, a ray of sunshine and beams out of bed, and she was just experiencing a little bit of hardship. And it was hard for her because, like, say she's happy, really happy and wants to have a happy day. It's like we've both been in this place where we're just like, come on, be happy. Let's do this. Let's take a video. Let's, let's dance. Yeah. Why are you happy? And it's like, I don't know. I yell, but I'm allowed to be sad. And we're both like, Ugh. 
we know so each other's true. right so then we're like fine and like sometimes you just need someone to sit with you in the sadness so it's good for the friend that the twin that's sad because then you have someone sitting there and making you all feel better but when for the twin that's not sad and wants to be like happy happy you like kind of have to like you know you can't be like let's do this and then so usually we're on the same exact wavelength there's a few times like this past like week was one of them where i was more of like and she was like come on eric come on and i was like no leave me alone i'm allowed to be sad so yeah so those are a couple of those are i think those were more broad so if we do another one and we want to focus more on manner and we'll pre think about ex actual times yes. but that was pretty broad but those are definitely some of the great things and some of the bad things about twins um um we're gonna end with a quote our quote is by john lennon and it goes like this when i was younger my mother always told me that the key to life was happiness when i went to school they asked me what i wanted to be when i was older i wrote down happy they told me i misunderstood the assignment i told them they misunderstood life happiness is the key to life people and happiness is a choice it comes from within it is not an external thing and that's a different topic so i'm gonna stop rambling okay thank, thank you, you so for, much watching. for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe, subscribe. thank Whoa. you